in the context of the present unpleasant happenings of our country we have to understand certain stubborn facts of life without mincing matters what is the cause of public unrest is it public unrest unrest or the fake unrest impression sought to be created by dissatisfied political parties and their partisan rulers people who have been rejected by the people see on the one side long pending problems of this country problems created by nehru and his congress are being solved one by one which is an eyesore for people who wanted to thrive on problems of this country article 370 has been removed kashmir has come back to normalcy traitors who had made benefits had ruled for 70 years have been jailed kashmir is almost solved the world wants to know what has happened delegation after delegation has come and seen and certified everything is all right in kashmir number 2 women folk of the muslim community have been given freedom from the cruel system of talaq number 2 The economic reforms are happening on a rapid scale. Modi ji has become very powerful and a symbol of national unity and they want to defame him and bring him down and unless Modi ji is defeated Hinduism cannot be defeated and unless Hinduism is defeated Islam and Christianity which had thrived all these years cannot come back that seems to be their problem. During what phase period in a premature declared election there was a slogan artificial slogan india shining india shining that was a flop because the bjp people could not reach it to the people although tremendous progress had been done with one mistake for 10 years we lost a very valuable period of historical time and upa 1 and 2 looted the country in any number of manners all that is coming back to Uh, limelight by our um, improved national news channels there are two english channels one or two kannada channels i don't know about telugu tamil and other people modi ji has been trying to solve problems one by one so you take the caa and the national register of citizens national nrc what is ca citizens um, act amendment act a lot of halabelo is created by the congress and the muslim people to create the fear that if these two bills are accepted as they are already accepted they have been actually accepted by modi uh, upper and the lower houses of parliament muslims will be driven out of this country nothing like that will happen but what what will happen i may tell you i may venture to say in a very bold way is infiltrators will be detected those that are genuine hindu mm, converted muslims of this country from the comes from arabia they will not be disturbed immigrants people who have been put to lot of uh, harassment in afghanistan in pakistan in bangladesh and in burma and other places in those six and the buddhist and the jains have every right the refugees have to come and settle in this country because they have been harassed for a very long time the muslim community is asking why don't you allow muslims also to come and settle on baba that is the whole problem muslims who have come infiltrated in this country they are creating all the hell we have to prevent them we have to detect them that will be looked after by the national register a very irresponsible ex minister central minister muslim minister says he himself does not know how many wives he has and how many children he has and therefore where from does he produce where can he produce the birth certificates of all those children on the internet i saw a muslim gentleman from up saying that he has 17 wives imagine a muslim gentleman having 17 wives on an average if each wife is given four children he will have 68 children in one family 
if this continues, there will be demographic aggression on this country. Hindus will be a minority. And if Hindus are a minority, country will be ruined totally. It will be another Afghanistan, Pakistan, another Bangladesh. And therefore, genuinely encouraged, proportionate progress of population must be, stably, must be established on stability. And disproportionate <coughs> population has to be discouraged. So how do we... The one instrument is national register. Anyone who has been in this country mm. for a particular date, as the government has declared, has to give due certificates to show that he belongs to this country, he was born in this country. If he has 18 children, 68 children, let him produce certificates. They cannot do it. They produce children, I am sorry to say, they produce children. There is no upgrowing. They are let loose. They intermarry. They create hell. And it is these people who become an army without engagement, like the army of Hyder Ali, Tipu Sultan, Babur, hmm, Chagas Khan, and so on. It is these people who have been creating troubles like what happened in hmm, Shaheen Bagh. That has to be stopped. And therefore, at least in another 50 years, next coming next years, we have to see unnecessary and uh, unnatural overgrowth of population has to be checked. This is what Muslims' interests do not want to happen. They have come to understand. They have come to understand that Modi wants to harmonize society. He wants to see Muslims not enjoying their undue privileges bestowed on them during the Mughal days, during the Christian days, East India Company days. That will have to happen and you and I, my dear friends, have to cooperate. I am sorry to say, the older generation, people beyond 50 or 60 are incorrigible. They cannot be improved. But the youngsters of today, whom I have been addressing in large crowds of thousands in the last 2-3 months, I have addressed huge crowds of people, young people, asking me questions and giving me ovation every time I make such points. It is they that have to be informed, number one, about our past history. No country can thrive without a strong historical roots, without ancestral roots, without cultural roots, without spiritual roots particularly. You cannot have a business community, a society based entirely on commercial interest. That spirituality has to come back. Unfortunately, they call this saffronization. I am wearing a saffron salt. If it is saffron, if it is saffronization, let it happen. Let me say it with all my power of throat. Let it happen. Let saffronize happen. Only saffron color can redeem this country. Thank you all very much.